Norway will allocate an additional 1 billion Norwegian krone or about $94 million to boost Ukraine's defense systems amid Russia, war of invasion. The brutal attacks we have seen over the past week show why it is so important for Ukrainians to have stronger protection against Russian air attacks. In cooperation with Germany, Norway will transfer a modern Iris T air defense battery to Ukraine this fall, Prime Minister Steer said. Iris T is a short range air defense missile system that includes three truck mounted launcher trucks, a multifunctional radar for target detection and tracking, and a command post truck. It should be noted that in May, Oslo pledged to increase aid to Ukraine by about $630 million. Norway partners with Germany, the United States, and other allies to find anti-aircraft ammunition to better protect Ukraine's skies. NATO allies have been stepping up efforts to strengthen Ukrainian army amid intensified Russian attacks. U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken announced on Wednesday that the transfer of the first batch of F-16 fighter jets was underway from NATO countries of Denmark and Netherlands. In a joint statement, the leaders of the U.S., the Netherlands and Denmark reiterated commitment to further enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities. A large chemical explosion triggered a blaze at the Deramut factory which then engulfed the building located at an industrial park An explosion sparked the fire at the chemical factory on Swan Drive in Deramut. The fire was quickly upgraded from a fifth to a seventh alarm, the first time in four years Fire Rescue Victoria have made such a declaration, which Deputy Commissioner Michelle Cowling said demonstrated the dangerous nature of the blaze. At one point, a large fireball with bright orange flames erupted from the factory which is located in a large industrial area bordered by the Western Freeway. Almost 200 firefighters have come to the area. Crews have successfully managed to bring a massive factory fire in Melbourne's west under control four hours after a large chemical explosion. A number of 44-gallon drums at the factory, which contained various hazardous chemicals, were sent flying through the air due to the impact of the explosion. The warehouse itself is full with multiple types of chemicals and those drums are being impinged by fire, so they are exploding and therefore they launch into the air and land outside of the fire perimeter. Those explosions that you're hearing are those drums, they are stacked inside the building. So those drums, as they get impinged, they heat up inside, so the chemicals that are kept in liquid form are expanding until the pressure gets inside those drums and then they explode, Cowling told. No injuries were reported and it was believed everyone inside the building was evacuated safely. Residents in the areas affected by the thick smoke coming from the blaze were told to take shelter indoors. The suburbs are urged to stay inside and close all windows, doors, vents and heating or cooling systems. A wind change has caused the toxic smoke to be blown towards Boundary Road, Fire and Rescue Victoria said in its latest update. The owner of the business is currently working with WorkSafe and Victoria Police. Mad. It's insane. Oh, shut up. Did they yeah, they're beeping at you, Mom. <laughs> Look what we're going to be breathing in later. Got to look all the doors, everything, windows. That is just not far from our house, two minutes. Helicopter over there, 47 trucks, chemical fire. Hooray, not. All right. Oh, shut up. Yeah, they're beeping at you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> 